Well, what can you say after that? I'm re I'm feeling, for me, incredibly wound up. Um, I'm 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 a bit emotionally. I'm upset. I'm angry. I'm vexedly. I'm totally totally gutted. I can't believe that we ain't won that game and that that our chance of qualifying, how slim it was, of of qualifying for the Champions League through the league, has just been robbed. Mike. Blooming Dean, referee, who basically gave two penalties against us in the added time when we played Cardiff at his tricks again, um, giving that penalty in in the in the last the ninety six minute. Oh, I just I just feel like we totally deserve to win that game. Burnley were playing. No, no disrespect to. Any Burnley fans that might watch this, but you were just playing non football, anti football, really. Wolves played the better football, we've had the better possession, we've had the most shots on target, we've had the most shots on goal, most corners. We've looked the team, the better quality team. Birmingham, up, uh, Burnley all match have been lumping the ball forward, uh, and that's their tactic. Wolves have dealt with it on the whole. And and then you've got that penalty from a guy that's nearly taking Mac Doherty's head uh, head off, who's raising his hand to protect himself. The ball's dropped on his hand, and he's given a penalty. And VAR have not uh, overturned it; they've just gone with the referee's decision. I'm I'm absolutely I couldn't I feel like crying actually. I'm that emotional about it. I'm just so football kicks you in the teeth, doesn't it? And we deserve to win that game. That goal from Raul Jimenez, 17th Premier League goal of the season, the highest by any Wolves player in a top flight since John Richards in 75 season, it deserved to win the game. It was a fantastic strike to win it. Absolutely brilliant. Um, Wolves started off the game so well on the front foot, dominate the first 10 minutes, really positive, very hungry. You know... The, and we've been the only team that's really looked to try and win the game. I thought Neves was absolutely magnificent in the middle of the field. I mean, the, the starting line was a bit of a surprise with Traore playing wing back, but it was very offensive, uh, playing very high up the pitch. And Vinagra, who didn't, re Vinagra never really got in, um, but Traore created a lot of carnage. And, you know, it's gone in at half time, nil nil again, hasn't it? And, um, you know, where we, there's no goals scored before 40 minutes. Come out the second half, Burnley have had a decent spell. Wolves have then got a grip of it and controlled the game. Looking forward, uh, you know, made the substitutions. Uh, Troy has created the goal. You know, he's picked up the ball deep in our own half. He's gone past four or five players, laid it out to Matt Doherty, who's come on. Um, and um, for I think it's Pedence. He's touch inside and, and smacked the ball. It's again blocked by a Burnley defender and it's come at an awkward angle to Jimenez and he's just instinctively volleyed it. Absolute, what a goal. Going nuts. Uh, the volley to finish that, the technique. World class, world class. 1-0 um, up. And Wolves game management from there on has been reasonably good. Made the substitutions. We've got away with one right towards the end when he's knocked it past the post. Uh, uh, when Patricio's panicked to come for it, he's headed back. Chris Wood, a yard out, and he's missed. I'm just going, how's he missed? I thought, that's it. And then right at the death, he's tried an overhead kick. It's nearly hit Doherty. It's hit him on the arm, but like he's got to be protected. And he's given the penalty, and it's a great, it is a good penalty, and it's, it's well finished, and no keeper would save it. But it's so, so deflating. It's just so Wolves. It's just so Wolves, isn't it? So close. It's like, it's kind of like, I feel, I'll tell you how I feel. I feel like that penalty that was given us against us in the semi-final of the FA Cup, it's that feeling that I've got, that, that feeling of being seconds away from putting herself into such a strong position and then it's just been taken away and it's it's heartbreaking it's heart-wrenching that's football for you i guess it happens 
two last minute goals in throughout the last three games. Um, Tottenham's won tonight. Burnley probably won't catch us. Sheffield have got a game in hand. Leicester have got to play um, Sheffield. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that one. <sighs> I don't know how you're feeling. I'm just absolutely gutted. I'm going to give my man of the match to Ruben Neves. I thought he was fantastic defensively. His passing was good. He was assertive. I thought all the team played reasonably well. Pedence had a good game. Um, Raul Jimenez, what a great strike. But it's ju I'm just absolutely gutted. You know, my, my match reaction has changed from exhilaration as it would have been so positive to just being so down. As you can tell, I'm just, I'm just down. I know you're all probably going to be feeling like that. <sighs> just down. Just got to basically now try and consolidate getting that Europa place. Um, finishing in the top five or six, uh, seven, and look towards the Europa League. And hopefully we'll have, as down as we're feeling right this second, hopefully we'll have some joy later on in August, winning the Europa League now and getting Champions League that way, I just hope. Um, anyway, guys, um, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm absolutely gutted. Fair play to Burnley for getting towards the end and stuff like that, but you didn't deserve it. I'm sorry, you just didn't deserve it. Um, but that's football, and they kept fighting, and Mike Dean was on the pitch to help them out. Well done, well done, Mike Dean. By the way, I don't like the beard. From myself, Daphne and Dave, till the next one, always Wolves. Come on, guys, always Wolves. <sighs> yeah.